I know what you're thinking. This project is going to be a bit ropey. No! It won't be ropey. Well, it will, but it won't. If you know what I'm saying. So I picked up all this old rope, although it's not old, it's new. Got blue, red, bit of white, brown, bit of green, and some lello. And what I thought we would do today is mix it right up, make it a bit funky. So I thought these would be just jubbly. Hey, lovely jubbly. <laughs> Now we obviously don't need all of this, but I'm gonna find myself like a, some kind of, I don't know, something to put this in. Two secs. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. This is a massive, massive bowl. Now I don't know if you folks remember what we did uh, a little while back. I um, can't remember what project it was. Leafs, I think it was leaves, autumn leaves. Um, and to avoid kind of like lots and lots of wastage of resin, what we did is we put another bowl inside this bowl, uh, which turned out really, really nice, but uh, I left a bit of blue tape in there, <laughs> which wasn't good, wasn't good. So I'm gonna try a similar type of process today, um, and uh, so we don't use copious amounts of resin, basically. So um, let's get this rope ugh, put in here. So this is quite a thick old bit of rope, this piece. But I'm gonna chop this up. We don't need, we don't need a lot of it. Look at that, yes. So we could just sort of manipulate this a little bit around and then we just need to plonk, plonk our other bowl on top of there like that to secure that down. Then we don't need as much resin then. So yeah, right, that should look jubbly bubbly. The dreaded blue tape. <laughs> For those of you that know what I'm saying, I think that's about right. Now, because we don't need as much resin, we can use the fast hardener on this. So I'm just trying to manipulate the, the rope to try to get it in like every like nook and cranny so that it looks funky when, when it comes out and we've turned it, if it turns all right. I don't know if it will or not, because I'm not sure if it will seep into the rope or not really that well, but I don't know. This is why we do these things, to see <laughs> if, we can make it look cool or not. But that looks quite cool, I think. What do you reckon from the side? So you've got like lots of little different angles. Um, probably could do with a bit, a bit of rope up there. That's gonna be quite hard though. Um, yeah, let's maybe try and get that blue. Try and get that blue up there. How are we gonna do that? Come on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, that'll do. Right now for our next step, folks, we're gonna be using the Entropy Resins Fast. This stuff is incredible. I don't know if you see um, my, um, see? Did you see? Did you saw? What? I don't know if you saw <laughs> my last project I did with Entropy. I went down to their manufacturers, um, really great. And we did some, we used some surf resin to do my table, my pencil table. Um, and it turned out amazing. So this is a very similar stuff. It's not the surf stuff, but this is all we need. So we need an a, a, and we need a B. You know what I'm saying? Now I have decided to use the slow hardener on this because I changed my mind. Because I think actually this is gonna take up quite a lot of resin. Um, and I'm not even too sure if that is gonna be enough. So I didn't wanna get stuck with using the fast because if it's a slow one, I could probably put a little bit more in, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm using the, the slow one and it's gonna to have to be a bit patient with this one and hopefully it will be better because it could have a reaction. Uh, if there's too much in there and I'm using the fast hardener, so. 
I'm going to use a slow one and stay safe. So I was right, that has taken up a chunk of resin. Right folks, there we go, it's in. Um, but that looks quite nice. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, it won't look too ropey. <laughs> yeah, I know, we've done that joke. Do you have any more rope jokes? If you do, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And also folks, just to let you know, as a lot of you do know that the How To app is out at the App Store. If you can't find it under How To, search Makers Central and it will pop up. I'd love to see you in there. 2,000 years later. Ho oh, ho! This has been set for a few days now, folks, and I'm really quite excited to see how this has turned out. And yes, there's gonna be no blue tape stuck in the bottom this time. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, although it does take a little bit of fun out of it, I know by not being able to put do too much to it, but it's still quite a cool way of doing things. If it works out, I'm, you know, I'm talking, this is, I'm talking if it's going to work out. I've no idea if it has worked out, but this could be quite a cool little project. Look at this. Yes. Ooh. Are we ready to pop this open? I think. Or is it still wet? No, it's not. No, it's set, it's set. There it comes. There it comes. It's got a bit of a bit of manoeuvring to do. To get this out. Come on, come on. <laughs> Stuck. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to knock it. Knock it about a bit. Let's uh, get you in a better position. There we go. I broke my bowl. Ah, uh. oh, yeah, that's definitely dead now. Right, I'm gonna have to beat this one now. I'm never gonna get this out of here. Oh, <laughs> it's literally jammed in there so much. I mean. Oh, I've got the, I've got the whole thing out. The whole thing's just popped out. Look, it's just loosened up. Look at this. <laughs> oh yes. Look at that beauty. That looks pretty neat, if I say so myself. I don't want to get that scratched up. I'm gonna put a rag down. Put this down because that is like almost a finished. It's a finished product. Let's see if we can get this out now. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get that out of there. It's like solid in there. Um, I don't want to ruin it because obviously, no, I don't want to do that, do I? Um, let me think. What can I do to get this out without damaging it? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Are you ready for the reveal? Oh, what's happened at the bottom? Well, that's a little bit disappointing. I thought that was going to be gleaming. For some reason, that's gone a little bit, bit feisty at the bottom there. I wonder if it's to do with that. I think it might be to do with that, actually. Because this was, um, well, it's not like shiny. I think I sanded this for some reason. So that is reflected in that. But, mm, okay, all right, well... It just means we're going to have to put it on the lathe and give it a bit of a tart up inside. There are a few little holes in it as well, bubble holes. Obviously we've got to get it on the lathe, so we've got to try and take all this off of here. So that's not a problem, we'll do that. I might actually sand that off actually, because it might be a little bit dangerous trying to do that on the lathe. So, but that does look pretty cool folks. So I don't think we've got a huge amount to do, but um, I'm loving that. The rope bowl. Let's do this. You're what the French call les incompetents. What?
So you can see from me turning this, look at the colours in this. Look at this. Yeah, man. <laughs> this looks cool. Um, so you can see the rope. It doesn't like finish very well, but I think that kind of adds to the sort of texture of it. If you look, like, oh, you can't see. Hang on. There we go. Um, so if you look there, it's all fluffy, <laughs> ropey. <laughs> it's a bit ropey, this bowl. Yeah, we've done that one, Nick. Um, but it is, it is a bit ropey because, yeah, this is, we're not going to be able to get a finish on that. But that's kind of cool. I think that adds to the sort of texture and the, the weirdness of it, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along. But um, we'll carry on turning it. I think, well, I think we've got to, got to turn it inside to kind of get that nice finish on it. The outside, ah, look at that. That looks lovely jubbly. I think we'll leave that just as it is. But um, yeah, we've got to keep on turning it in there. It's a little bit kind of like, I don't know, a bit rough to turn, but it's all right. It's all right. I'm just loving all the colors in this. Yes. You know me in colors, folks. <laughs> right, let's carry on. Yep, it's not finished just yet. <laughs> so now I'm going to try something different for you on this one, folks, because we've all seen, you know, the traditional finish of sanding and sanding and then polishing and polishing. But I want to try something different. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a hot coat surfboard resin finish on it. You're riding it, dude. Now, if you didn't see it, um, I did a video a few weeks ago. Um, it was my pencil table. I took it up to Re uh, Entropy Resins HQ and they did a, a surfboard resin finish on it. It looks really cool. It's kind of like got like a plastic coating on it. Now, although those types of finishes are more suited to sort of tables and kind of like surfboards, I thought I'd try and apply it to this bowl. You've got to sand it down first with one 20 grit and then that is it it's left loads of grooves in there and the resin that we put in is going to get into all those grooves and make it look pretty funky now i don't know how this is going to work because obviously it's a bowl so it's but uh, the idea is that i knock up this resin i paint it on uh, and it should give an almost you know similar finish to this on the back i mean look at that that does look pretty cool we're going to fill this in uh with, as well put my emblem in there somehow and then i'll fill that in as well later as well but i don't know how this is gonna go folks so stick with me on this one see how this one turns out uh i'll go and get myself some surf resin knocked up and we'll give it a bash <laughs> so we picked up the surf resin folks this is the resin that we used uh, a few weeks ago on my table when i went up to entropy um this stuff is absolutely amazing but obviously you've got to use it properly um and this is the, my first time using it so um and i'm going to try and paint this uh, apply it to this bowl to try and get the finish on it so um 120 grit one 120 grit i can't say that word <laughs> 120 grit is on there um as i've sanded it to as you know from earlier um and this this will cure a lot faster as well than the average um resin so i'm gonna knock a little bit of this up and let's get painting Right, we are ready, folks. Got me paintbrush <laughs> and uh, mixed up me resin. So, and it needs to be in a warm environment, this one. So, uh, and I've given it another little sand, as you saw, cleaned it up with some denatured alcohol. 
So hopefully we are ready to rock and bowl. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, you know what, folks? This looks absolutely, <laughs> I mean, this looks pretty awesome. I have to say so myself. I think we might be looking at a trumpet blow coming up. <laughs> as long as, as long as it stays like this, that's the question, isn't it? If it stays looking like that, that looks so cool. Um, so I'll keep on putting this on, but applying this. I'm just putting a nice even coat around this. Bearing in mind this is my first time doing this and using this this surf resin. It's called hot coating apparently. Hot coating. Uh, and again all the surfers use it for their boards. So um, but this is coming out really nice. If this works like this folks I'm going to be doing this all the time. <laughs> hey no more sanding for me. Yippee. Now, by all accounts, that, I mean, got to be worth a trumpet blow. I'm pretty tough with the results of this, folks. Now, obviously, it is a little bit bitty where the ropes are sticking through. But, I mean, had it not had the rope kind of sticking through, it's just a little bit rough, like, so, just some of the edges a little bit rough. But, I mean, look at the finish compared to, you know, that was all sanded down to 120 grit. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments, folks, if you've got any about this project, and also, if you've got any rope jokes, because I only seem to know one. Don't forget, folks, I've got a new merch line, so check the link out below. I linked up with this company, and they're doing some really cool merch for me, like T-shirts and hoodies and hats and all sorts of stuff. I just want to say thank you for everyone that came to Make a Central. It was an absolute blast. It was so cool. And I really did enjoy meeting up with a lot of you there. It was absolutely awesome to see and actually gave me some really great inspiration. Uh, there, I know that there's a lot of people that love watching this channel, which is really cool. I really do appreciate it because I was, as you know, you know, I got myself a little bit kind of demoralized over the last few months um, and wondered whether or not I should carry on. But, <laughs> but you gave me the hope and will to carry on doing these videos uh, for you, which is, you know, I do them for you, but I love making stuff, but I obviously do them for you because otherwise I wouldn't record them, <laughs> otherwise I'd put them on, on YouTube. But thank you, it's uh, so overwhelming and, and uh, it was really cool meeting all of you. And I hope that you continue to follow my journey in making weird and strange stuff, like the rope bowl. Thanks for all your gifts and things that I got. Um, I haven't got them with me here, they're gonna be put on the back here and displayed. I'm gonna change all this um, and I'm gonna put those bits and pieces up there. But I've got some really cool things like some pens somebody made me, um, a skull, really cool skull, resin skull, that was really cool. My very own Dirty Man's Hands from Soapy. Loads of other bits and pieces. I can't even remember now uh, some of the things that I've got. Uh, a little chain thing with like, I wish I chose like a little keyring thing. I chose this little resin one with like, I don't know, look like little sweets inside. And I met so many new uh, makers, uh, which was so overwhelming. It was a really great time in the evenings, having a few catch-ups with all of you. Uh, and, and some I've never even met before, but it was just an amazing, amazing catch-up and weekend. I'm still kind of like trying to get over it now. And it's, it's been about a week. I just can't wait to do the next one. Shall I do the next one? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you want to see Maker Central 20. 24. And last but not least, folks, I want to say thank you to all my Patreons and members of this channel. Your support 
means the world. Oh, we also had loads of people join the How To app over the weekend as well, which is absolutely fabulous. And I really love the fact that people are enjoying the app. Uh, there's loads to come from it. So many more updates that we've got planned, so please stick around. And if you are a How To member, thank you so much. Again, we've got so many more things planned for you to make it even more and more beneficial for you to just love being a How To member. If you're not on the app yet, check it out. Try searching in the App Store for Maker Central, because at the moment it's still trying to index itself. I don't know why, but we try and search for how to, it doesn't come up, but if you put make a central in, it will come up with how to. That's the one you wanna download. Set yourself up a little profile and start adding some content. It's absolutely amazing place for all makers of all kinds. Thank you. Right, that's it for the waffle. It was a big one, wasn't it? <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, folks. I'll love you and leave you for this one. I'll try and get something up next weekend, although that might be a little bit tricky. Um, I am working on something, but I don't think I'll get it finished. If I don't, then it'll be the week after, or maybe the week after that. But don't worry, it's gonna be cool and funky. Take care, folks. See ya for the next one.